their ice cream bar. So today we're making another horrible mistake. Yay! Really, we're just making a drink with beer in it. But every time I get I seem to be very sad afterwards. So this one is called the Ale Flip. It's kind of interesting, the preparation, so what you're going to need is brandy, some nice chilled ale, sugar, ginger, lemon, and if you desire, you can also use egg yolk. I am not going to. So the first part of making this drink is grabbing a saucepan, and you're going to want to put one ounce of fresh lemon juice in there, two ounces of ale, a pinch of ground ginger, and one teaspoon of sugar, and you're going to want to heat that on moderate heat until the sugar fully dissolves. If you're using an egg, then you're gonna wanna beat your egg yolk into one ounce of brandy in a little bowl, and then you add the heated mixture to the egg yolk mixture and beat it until smooth. I am skipping that step. So I'm just going to take my mixture, put it in a cup, and fill it up with the rest of my ale. Da, 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 da. So this is the mixture, and it's really super scary. Like, it almost smells good, but it's not quite good smelling. Mm -hmm. It smells a little bit like vomit, I'm not gonna lie. Acidic lemon smell mixed with beer. It's a little, um, ugh. All right, yummy yum. So let's um, top that off with the rest of this beer. Oh. Strange magic. It smells like beer. I don't smell any other thing other than beer. Mm, I'm scared. Who else is scared? I'm terrified. Let's drink it. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Ah! So this is definitely an acquired taste. I feel like mixed drinks with beer in them, they're so deceptive because it's always like, use the whole beer. So it just looks like beer and then you drink it and you're like, that's not beer. This is like so, so, so sugary and lemony. And when you drink it, all you taste is like immediate citrus and lemon in your face. And then there's like an aftertaste of stale beer. Like it almost smelled good and it almost tastes really good. It tastes like how it smells. If you don't like the smell that is created when you mix all those things together and dissolve the sugar, if you don't like the smell of that, you will not enjoy the taste of this. So you guys wanna hear a funny story? So the other day I went to the hair salon, okay? And you know how at hair salons they give you like those robe, black roby things and like they have a towel tied around your neck and it's like, it was, it was coolish outside but they had their heat on kind of high for whatever reason. And all of a sudden, I'm like, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm like reading my book, listening to my iPod, and you know, she's putting chemicals all up in my hair. I'm just sitting there feeling fine, and all of a sudden, I get sweaty, okay? I get sweaty. That was red flag one. And then I start feeling sick. Like, I'm so hot, I start feeling sick, and I'm like, oh my god, what if I threw up right now? I'm sitting there, I'm panicking, I'm like pretending to read my book, I am so, so sweaty, it's like disgusting, it's like pouring all over. I'm like rolling the, the sleeves of this robe thing up and like fussing with the towel, and the hairdresser's like, let's get them to turn the heat down a little bit. It is pretty warm. Everyone's warm. I'm like, okay, everyone's warm. And I'm just thinking in my head, I'm gonna throw up. And eventually, I freak myself out so much that I'm like, no, it's it's coming. Like, the, my stomach, it's winning. We're in a fight, and it's winning. And so I'm like, where, where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? I try to walk to the bathroom. She's walking with me to show me where it is. Everything gets really spotty. I'm stumbling around. She's like, what is wrong? All of a sudden, it just kind of goes very spotty black and I'm like falling into the wall and my hairdresser who I've only gotten my hair done by her one other time by the way so this is not like intimate relationship time she's like catching me and like lays me down on the floor she's like okay call 911 <laughs> and I'm just laying there like oh! like trying not to throw up on the ground and I'm like I'm so sorry I've, I don't know what happened like I just feel really sick I don't know what I'm so sick if I throw up I'm so sorry and of course I'm like in this little hallway that people have to go through to like get to the sinks where they wash your hair. So there's like people walking over me and I can't move so I'm just laying there. My hairdresser has like these little ice packs that they use when they do people's eyebrows to make their eyebrows not swell. She's using those to like put them on my neck and like try to cool me down. She's like, you're so clammy. They call 911. It takes them like 15 minutes to show up so I'm just laying on the floor in the hair salon for 15 minutes and finally they show up 
you know, they do all these tests, they do the blood sugar, they do the EKG, they do the blood pressure, they do all of that. They ask a million questions. By the time the whole thing is over, I'm totally fine. I'm like, yeah, like, my hands had gotten numb, but they were fine. My feet were getting numb, but they became fine. They were just like, you know what? I think you just had a panic attack. Great! So I just, like, freaked everybody out and was laid on the floor and causing a huge ruckus, but nothing was wrong with me. Great! Perfect! I love it! I love you! I love my body! <laughs> so they're like, do you want us to take you to the hospital? And I was like, no, it's fine. So they leave. My hairdresser comes and she sees me. She's like, so do you want me to just wash your hair and you can go home? And I'm like, no, I think we- I think I'm good to just finish my hair. And she did! She did finish it. I gave her a very large tip and, um, uh, that was my Friday. <laughs> so yeah, that- that was what I was doing. How were you? How was your weekend? How'd you be do? Aim. Life. Yup. Okay. Alright, so I have one little, tiny little sip, and I think I'm actually pretty good. I thought it was not good. It could have been a lot of things, like, whenever you have to cook something, you have to pay attention to how much you're cooking it. I know my pan was already pretty warm when I added that lemon juice, so maybe that has something to do with it. Regardless, I don't think it's something that I'll be trying again anytime soon. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. My book today is closed. I've got nothing more to teach you and nothing more to learn. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you at least by next Thursday. Thanks, guys. Bye!